Mega here, and I've got a show and tell video on these uh, knee pads for a Sauron Light B, all right, or a, a Segway X260. All right, I got this from eBay from a seller named uh, Wa Walkamp. Walkamp 56 Shred Hard Works, okay? So, um, yeah, I, I, the only place I could find this place was on eBay, but on the packaging it says um, sh Shred Hard Works, okay? And um, I will put a link in the uh, description of the video, uh, the website, and the auction that I ordered it from. Okay, so um, I got it on eBay. All right, and so, and so what these are, are are knee pads for your for the frame here. Right, what it does is a, it adds a it adds a pad to the frame so you can get your knee on, stick it, stick, hit you can hit the the frame with your knee. So one one of the Hades Mega's big complaints about the Suron Light B is its ergonomics. All right. It's more like a bicycle than a motorcycle, right? When you ride a motorcycle, you use your knee. You can use your knees to, to kick the tank over, all right? The the gas tank, all right? This doesn't really have a gas tank, but it's got the frame here. This is where your knees would touch, right? And you you could uh you can hit those um, to get the bike to tip over, all right? Um, while you're standing or sitting, all right? And also you can use it like if you're gonna. If you ride like knee out or something, you can use your your knee to hug the knee pad, all right, or the frame, all right. And so these that's what these are. These are frames that it makes it makes it's a, it adds a padding to the frame, so it makes it beefier. So it's kind of pretends like you have a gas tank, all right. Um, yeah. So my Alta Redshift kind of has something like that. Um, it doesn't have a gas tank, but it has plastics on the side that you could use to kick the bike over if you wanted to, all right. Um, some motorcycle I mean some motorcycles get better ergonomics than others this one not the best all right um, and uh, hopefully this will make it better and that's the reason I bought this I wanted to try it out I saw it on eBay and uh, yeah so here's it came in a packaging like this all right it's a little kind of like paper bag type thing it looks like it's 3d printed oh yeah well, it's not 3d printed it's a uh, it's like a soft foam, all right? And I, I think it's easy to install, all right? Here, that's what it looks like, guys. It definitely looks like it's 3D printed, but it's 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 a foam. Yeah, it's a foam. It's interesting. It's kind of like a vinyl kind of material, all right? And what this does is it adds knee pads to your Sauron Light B, all right? So one says left here, and so one says right. These definitely look like they've been crafted in a 3D printer or something, all right? All right, 3D printing is a rapid prototyping, guys. We'll see how long this lasts. So this this is black. I don't know if they come in other colors, guys. I know it would be it would have been nice to have some white ones or ones that were like a, a checkered flag colors. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but anyway, most of my bike is just gray and black. All right, so uh, Hayes Maker will go ahead and install them, and I'll show you what they look like on the bike. All right, and then and then um, I will. I'll, I'll see if I can demonstrate using them. I'm, I am wearing my motorcycle pants right now, so. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, they're $35, all right? $35, I got them on eBay. You probably can get them from their website. I didn't know they had a website. <laughs> I'll probably go to their website and see what other parts they got. But uh, the, I think the website is shredhardworks.com, all right? I'll put a link in the description. I also want to point out, it took a little It took a little while for it to get to me, all right? <laughs> it, it took like uh, almost, almost like two weeks for it to get to me. And I wanted to try it out, and I had like a bunch of races. I must have had like one, two, three, like like three races already had gone by, and I hadn't got it. All right, and these races I could have probably really put it through the ringer, tested it, and stuff. All right, uh, one of them was an enduro race, and the other one was a flat track race. All right, and they're both races where yeah, you would want to kick the bike over with your knee. All right, um, it's really hard to do on this bike, but yeah, you can you can kind of do it. You know. <laughs> It's just it's just difficult, all right? Because uh, there's no meat 
on where the tank is and stuff, all right? All right, I'll go install it and I'll show you how it goes on there. All right, here's because I'm gonna show you how to install one of them. I've taken the battery out, all right? I think you have to, you have to take the battery out, all right? And then, so this is, the, it. basically it just clamps onto the frame, all right? So just like this. And you just gotta open it up. Hopefully we don't break it. Maybe let's do it from the top first. Top seems more different. Okay, we, we definitely, you definitely want it on there tight, guys, because <laughs> you don't want these to fall off. They're kind of expensive. Uh, what these kind of remind me of are steg pegs, all right? Also. Uh, steg pegs are these pucks that you put on the side of your bike, and then you could use them to grip stuff, all right? So there it is, all right? So that's what it looks like from the inside there, guys. All right, it kind of just wraps around it. I wish it came in different colors, but all right. So I'm going to go ahead and install the other one, and I'll show you what it looks like, all right? But yeah, that looks like it. It's pretty simple install. No tool. No tool install, guys, all right? All right, I'll show you what it looks like from this side. All right, so you gotta make sure the smaller part is on the bottom, all right? I would install the top part like I did the other one. It's kind of cool looking. I'm gonna open it up, push it in. I got a tape here. Try to get it over the tape. put a tape over here so like my battery doesn't rub up on it. I have to get it over the tape somehow. Oh I think you know what I'm just gonna do it backwards then. Alright maybe a screwdriver might help installing it so you can keep it to spread it open but I think I can manage it's pretty um, flexible material too okay I'm just peeling it back a little bit so it rips onto there yeah it's on there really tight guys this ain't coming out cool and there it is all right so here's what it looks like without the battery all right it adds a padding to your frame, or also protect your frame, so. All right, and so it's supposed to add, like, a, it adds a little pad for your knees to go on there, okay? So, pretty cool. Okay, they're, they're pretty shiny. They're like a gloss black, and it's got, like, a texture. It definitely looks like it's been 3D printed, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not 3D printed, though. It's like... It's a foamy stuff, all right? It's pretty, some high-speed 3D printed stuff. All right, let me go put the battery back in. Okay, guys, there it is. So it will, not gonna lie, it will make your bike wider, all right? But the, the Soran is a really, really narrow bike, all right? So that's that's the that's the idea of it. It makes your bike wider, all right? So so it fi feels like a more normal motorcycle. So look at the gas tank on the DR650 here. See how it kind of, it goes out, you know? So that's the same thing with this idea. You want it to go out, you add a little more padding, kind of like a gas tank, all right? So I don't know if it's gonna work, but here's what it looks like when I'm sitting on it, all right? All right, and I'm gonna have to ride with it, guys, to, for, <laughs> to tell you how it is, okay? But yeah, it actually fits the DRDs very well, all right? So it's very, it's a good design, that's what I wanna say. It, it would be nice if it was a little bit longer and stuff, but yeah, it, it kind of adds a kind of a gas tank kind of shape to your bike. All right, and so this, the way, when you're riding, all right, oh man, my forks are leaking. Um, uh, you, you, what, like if you wanted to, if you were standing, uh, 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 yeah, you, let me, let me go stand on the, let's see if I can, I don't know if I can do that. Uh, let me put it on a stand. I'll put the bike on the stand, guys. Okay, guys, I'm going to go sit on the bike. It's on a stand right now, so. All right, so that's what it looks like when I'm sitting on there. And then, so when you wanna lean the bike over, all right, if you're gonna do your leg out, uh, like a like kind of like a dirt bike or a flat tracker style, um, you're gonna wanna stick your leg out, all right, and 
I think we're doing a right turn right now. And then you're going to want to, you're going to get your right knee and I'm going to kick the tank, right? Or let's do the opposite, right? All right. So um, I've got my right leg out and I'm going to hit the tank with my left knee. It fits and your knee fits in there really nice. It's like a little pocket. It's, it's really nicely um, designed, all right? I have to say. Um, whoever made this, you know, at least they fit my knees, guys. They fit, I'm 5'10", all right? And um, it fits my knees pretty well, all right? Um, let me see. Let me sit back. Okay, if I sit back, there's my knees don't touch them at all, all right? But if I sit in the middle of the seat, my knees do touch them, all right? If I sit on the front, my thighs touch them, all right? So knees, thighs, all right? Um, yeah, so you, so you could use your thigh to kick the bike over, all right? It, it adds a little meat to the bike so you can tip it over, all right? So also if I wanted to r ride like a like a knee out road racer style, I would have something, I would have a grip, all right? It would, it would grip, you would grip it with your, with your thigh, all right? And then that would help the bike tip over, all right? Uh, another, another thing this probably be handy for is uh, standing, all right? So, oh no, it, it doesn't do anything when you're standing, all right? But I guess it could, I suppose it could, but the tank is just not top high enough, all right? The bike is too small for me, guys, all right? Um, uh, I guess I guess for that you would probably just want to use a seat. I Hayes Mega has a lunacycle float seat, so that's what I use. I use the seat as a pad when I'm standing, all right, and that, that helps me. That that allows me to stabilize my body better when I'm standing, so I don't get tired as fast, all right. But uh, this is kind of purely for sitting, unfortunately, all right. Um, I rode uh, I rode an Energica Xperia late, uh, recently, all right, uh, and it's an adventure bike, and you can do that. You can you can kick the tank. You, you can kick the tank over with your knee and the bike will, will um, uh, you know, tip over. But um, this, this won't do, this will not do that, all right? They're too, it's too low to do that, all right? You'd have to be down here, <laughs> okay? And you'd have to like kind of just move your butt to hit it. Um, it's not gonna work, all right? These are for when you're sitting down, all right? That's what the, that's the idea of it. Um, when you're cornering, all right, with your leg out, um, or, or like if you're trying to lean into a turn, all right, that this will help you, your legs grab the bike, all right? You can, you can add a, like more, you can grip the bike better, all right? So, uh, Hayes Mega's gonna try it out, all right, guys? Okay, and so with that, uh, that's the end of the show and tell video for the Shred Hard Works, uh, uh, knee pads for the, uh, Soron Light B and, uh, Segway X260, or pretty much anything that uses the Soron frame, I think will, this will work on. Really easy to install, all right? Basically, you just take the battery out and it just clamps on there. It fits on there like perfectly, all right? I have to say, um, it's it's well made. Uh, it only it looks like it only comes in gloss black right now, all right? Uh, but that's cool. My bike is a, a mixture of black and, and gray, so. Um, yeah, and, and it's really nice, really ergonomically shaped, all right? So your knees fit through there, all right? Uh, like I said, I'm 5'10", and my knees fit in there nicely, all right? If you're probably smaller than me or I, I'm not sure right I, every, I know everyone is built different but it looks like it fits me just right right um, and uh, I can't wait to try them out all right and during a race uh, Hayes Mega uses his knees all right a lot I'm um, Hayes Mega races uh, I ride like a flat tracker okay um, that's my that's my riding style with the light beat most of the time all right but sometimes I do hang a hang a knee out and stuff all right and it, it's nice to have something to your knees to grip onto so you can you know push onto the bike and let get it to tip over all right and that's my biggest gripe about the Soron it has awful ergonomics all right hopefully this will help me in flat track races all right but uh, uh it'll we'll only have to we'll have to test it out all right so there will be like a review video in the future i will let you guys know how it is okay uh, uh when i when i take this thing for a race with it all right unfortunately i i a bunch of races finished already and I really get a chance to test it out because uh, I didn't get it in time all right but uh, yeah I got it from shredhardworks.com on eBay all right I'll put a link in the description for the eBay auction and their website okay um, yeah free advertisement for you <laughs> I just want to say all right um, and I just like I said I just saw it on on eBay and I was like you know what I kind of want to try that out <laughs> okay um, if it's one of the thing case to make a gripes the most about the, the light B is it's just not it's not shaped like a motorcycle all right it's it's kind of like it's more like a mountain bike than a motorcycle type thing the, the way it is all right it's a big chunky mountain bike <laughs> all right okay that's it in the show and tell video thanks for watching hey it's big out
Hey, by the way, I wanted to mention that, yes, it fits in there nicely with the battery. Okay, so it doesn't interfere with the battery at all. Very good. All right, maybe if you have a tighter battery, like an EBMX or something, it might, it may uh, be kind of a tight fit. All right, I would rather have the battery loose in there, you know. Okay, so, yeah. It's plenty, it, um, slipping, sliding the battery in, I had no problem at all. So, fit, good fitment.